Welcome back my fantastic artistic friends to Painting with Master Temple. Now today is a very special day because we're going to recreate a work of art that I'm sure every single one of you out there will have seen and it's the Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh. I'm going to put his own little slant on that, his own little take on, on that kind of painting. So let me show you what I've got done up here. I've got a big canvas that's been coated in black primer and allowed to dry completely. Once that's dried we've mounted it on the easel and we've taken some transparent colours, basically uh, phthalo blue and a bit of sap green with a little bit, a little tiny bit of uh, liquid clear mixed in there just so it's all slick. Now that's still wet, we want that wet so we can blend up there rather than towing ourselves to death on the palette. So if you're not familiar with the painting I'll pop a little bit of a um, a little bit of an image up now of Vincent van Gogh's painting, but uh, I'm sure you will be. So the first thing I want to take is just a little tiny, a little tiny half inch, just a little half inch paintbrush. I'm going to mix some titanium white paint and some Indian yellow, proportionately much more white than yellow. And because we've got blue up here, or mainly blue, we may get a little bit of a tingy greeny glow, but We'll work around that. So there is a moon just about there. Now this won't be a, a, a like for like painting. It's just going to give us something similar to what we do, but in our style, in this wet on wet style. Okay, so there we go. So a little bit of a yellowy glow up in the sky just there. Okay, and then I'm going to just get a big brush, big and dry, and I'm going to tweak that out. I'm just going to blend that out. Just there, and then we're going to come back in there. That's where we're going to work to, and we're going to work on that. So I'm going to take a bigger brush, and I'm going to go straight into some white. I needed the yellow on there to start with, so just a bit of white paint, just there. Okay, that pops out a little bit, a little bit stronger. So I'm going to grab some of that Indian yellow now. Back to that. Just put that in there, and then we've got a little fried egg in the sky. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that fried egg. Okay, because that's going to be his glows, or varying glows. I'm going to put some stars in there and some clouds and everything. Okay, big dry brush. Make sure it's dry. And then we're going to tweak that as well. Just gently tweak that out. Blend it out. Okay, nice bright spot up there. And we'll come back and put a moon in there as well. So side to side, just like that. Up and down. Just give it a little bit of a glow, just like that. Okay, now the moon on the original one is a, is a, is a crescent moon. So I think we'll have to have a little bit of a crescent moon. So I'm just going to take some white, maybe a bit of yellow again. Just vary the proportions on your palette till you get it how you want. And the moon was a crescent shape just there like that quite a strong crescent if I believe if memory serves me right so it might not look right but we'll try and get it as close as we can maybe a bit more white just in there get a nice bright spot there like that okay now if that's a bit too thick of paint just scrape it off with a knife and then we can come back up here, just knock the excess paint off, and then just, again, just tease this into the painting, just like that. Okay, we need some stars, don't we? We need some stars up here, so I'll just blend that glow to nothing. There we go, and then we need some, some little stars. So, what I've found is if I take a little bit of white paint, maybe a bit of yellow in that as well. A little bit of yellow and white paint. And there was a star there, if I think on. Just like that. Get a bit more paint. Uh, maybe one up there. Can't remember off the top of my head. I think there was two up, two or three. Up there. So put that there. And maybe another one there. I think there was another one up there. Maybe let's get a bit more yellow on that. So you need a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white. I think it was because we've got some big crashing clouds, if I remember on. 
Uh, I think there was one there, maybe there, I can't remember off the top of my head. I know I have seen the picture many times and there's a bright one. I think there's one there. Now I might paint over some of these, um, something like that. I might paint over some of these, but some will still show. Okay, now I'm gonna take the little pony hair brush. Okay, if you've got, again, if you've got too much paint on there, just come in here with a clean knife, and just whip off the excess, just like so. Okay, but you really can't go wrong with this. A little tiny soft brush, and we're just gonna I would just go side to side and up and down, and side to side and up and down. Remember, these are far away, so they're gonna be a little bit distorted. Sticking to the original, we want them little stars in the sky, okay? But they had a nice glow. Okay, and this one here, a bit brighter, this one, a bit more white paint on that. But if we go up and down and side to side, it gives us a little bit of a glow and then just blend that in. This little tiny, it's like a makeup brush. It's not, it's a, it's a proper art brush, but it, it really works. It really works. Right, now I'm going to get a bit, let's get a bit of tiny amount of liquid white and just normal titanium white. And we'll take the little... Like we'll use the little edge of the knife and then in a couple of places what we'll do is we'll just put a star shape so go up in the center of your halo up and down okay maybe one there as well i'm not going to do it on them all and i may have to come back once we put the big clouds into to realign these okay but we're just going to put one or two in just like that and again, we'll go across. So I hope you can see that, just there like that. There, so it gives us a nice little star. And we don't want this one missing out, do we? No. Okay, on some of them, got a couple more there. That's got a, a little bit, without the, uh, without the, the cross, the star cross. So I'm just going to take a little bit of white paint on the end of a paint brush and just put that in there as well. Gives it a bit more depth. Okay, that is basically that for the sky. Now we want some, well, we want some big clouds, don't we? So let's take, I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to use this little soft, soft brush. In fact, I'll get a clean one and we'll try. So I'm going to pull some white paint out. Now this is a bit of trial and error. Could do this with a fan brush and maybe have more control with a fan brush. Now there's some big swirling clouds. So we're just going to put a basic cloud shape in here. Again, this is not going to be like the, well, it's going to be like the, hopefully it'll be like the original, but obviously in our kind of style. Okay, so we'll go up there. And I think the cloud comes down there and I think we have another bit that, that swirls that way and goes round like so. But we'll adapt it as we see fit. If you need to knock off any excess paint, please do so. And go back in and touch there. The blue underneath is so, so strong. So strong, you need very little. Okay, I'm going to go back to the brush that we're going to blend with, and I'm just going to blend the base, just the base of this cloud out, just the base there. Just swirl that up. Don't touch your star. If you don't touch your star, you're going to have to uh, <laughs> touch your star. You'll have to paint him back in. Okay, and then let's try again with this one. Okay, we'll come back around there like so. In fact, I'm going to thin that paint down a tad. Just thin it down a little bit. So that's white, titanium white. We'll come down there. Maybe it comes that way. And then, so we'll blend that out to start with. So we'll swirl that about. Really soft, really delicate. Really, 
I know it looks like I'm moving the paintbrush a lot, but I'm not. I'm not. There's only a little tiny amount of brush that's touching the of bristles that's touching the canvas. Okay, so again we'll come back in here and we'll pop the other part of the cloud so it goes there like that. Maybe a bit more of that paint. There we go, down like so. Comes down there maybe. And let's reaffirm this edge just like that. There. Looks kind of crazy already. <laughs> it does, it looks kind of crazy already. And that's what we like. I love that. I love the craziness. I love the craziness. Can't be a good crazy painting. Okay, so I'll just tap in there like that. We'll come back in with a blender. This blender brush. I find this is better than than the uh, the Bob Ross blender brush because the uh, I, I seem to only get one use out of the blender brush that 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 we've got from Bob Ross or Bob Ross Enterprises or Institute or whatever whatever they call it nowadays. And this one you can these ones you can wash. I get them from the range if anyone's interested. There we go. And then just tickle, 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 like that. And I think there was another one. I'm not sure if it is actually a cloud or if it's just a, a bit of highlighted land, but it just looks very similar. So we'll put another one just there. I think it comes all the way across. So again, this is just thin white paint with titanium white paint as well. Okay, and it comes all the way across. And again, it'll be blending with the colour that's underneath. And there's a tree here, isn't there? That's right, so don't get too carried away. Right, so there we go. And then back to the blender -y blue, a blendery brush. So just tweak that and turn that. Oh, tease that. I put a bit of sap green under there. I don't know if I mentioned that in the in the beginning, um, but yeah, phthalo blue up there, and a tiny bit of sap green down here as well. I can't remember if I mentioned that or not, but if I did, you got the info twice. And if I didn't, I do apologise. Okay, so we just that's where we get a little bit of a, a, a greeny tint down here. So there, just like that. You can come back and put another one in, just over there, like so. Maybe another another layer, just there. I don't know. I don't know. Back to the blender. Tweak that, tease that, till it almost goes away. The base almost goes away. Now. I like doing these kind of paintings for seascapes. Lost a little air there. That's all right. Okay, so I'm just going to wash this brush. Wash the brush. Okay, not not very fun to beat this one, but uh, if you drag it along, a nice, uh, good quality paper towel, then we seem to be back in business. Okay, and then I'm just gonna now. Now we've all blended out. I'm just gonna lift up short little strokes. Just very gently lift up, fluff these clouds up. Just fluff them up. Just very gently. Just fluff, 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 fluff. Same on there. That'll take out all the tap marks and the, the brush strokes. And set everything onto the canvas. There, like so. A bit more in there. Just fluff it up. Any way you want. Just think like a cloud as we do this. There we go. Do, 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 do. A bit more there, a bit more there, a bit more there. There we go. And then just knock off the excess and then just gently go across that very, very gently. Very gently. Hardly touch the canvas. Breathe just like a little breath on the canvas. There we go. Just like that. 
that easy that easy peasy now let's have a look let's have a look where we were going we're going there uh, that's a bigger star i think we're going to put a tree in there um let's see does this moon look all right to you maybe it doesn't i don't know maybe we'll put a, we'll wait till the end i don't know okay now we want to come forward so we had some hills there so i'm going to take a bit of burnt sienna okay and i'm going to put a bit of van dyke brown in that okay and i think the hill was about there and it comes down like so you might not be able to see that just yet but it's there it's a bit of a flat top till i think i think van gogh painted this from a view from from his window from his hospital window so now we've got that on there i'm going to just mm, which brush which brush i'll use this one we'll use this just move the excess paint just like we would a mountain we painted with me before okay let's put a little bit of highlight on but i don't want much so i'm just going to take a tiny bit of white that same colour, that same colour, just a bit of Van Dyke Brown, a bit of Burnt Sienna, not much. And then just, just gently just touch and then just, we don't want, we don't want much of a highlight. Remember this is quite far away, so just maybe there and there. There like that. Okay. Now we can go back there. I've just got some white paint on this. What we did the clouds with, so I'm just going to put that in there. Okay, just a bit of white. And then go back to the, the one that's dry and just tap the base. Could use any kind of brush for this, for this part, really. You've seen me do this with mountains before. And then just lift up. And now we've got a little bit of a cloud engulfed mountain and that will make the next layer show up a little bit better okay just tweak that to nothing okay there were some hills now let me get a fan brush let me get a fan brush now there's some hills i think that went over there we had some trees down here had a big tree there um yeah okay so so let's put some hills in so i think the original hills were a bit of a bluey color so i'm going to take some French ultramarine and white. Okay, so it's a different kind of blue that's actually on the canvas. We'll put a bit of white in there just to jazz it up. And I think it starts off there, comes up. And again, this is not going to be an exact copy. We might have an hill that's a different shape or in a different colour, but we know that they're there. Okay, it comes all the way up. Now these live. These little roly hills just live nice and freely in your fan brush. You've just got to, you've just got to tweak them out of there, haven't you? And, it, and this opaque colour of the white really does show up lovely against the black canvas that we've got already. So there, we'll just, just tap in all the way across. The more we tap, the more it'll pick that blue and green that's on the canvas. Just like that. Set the brush down on a clean spot. Now back to the blendery one. We're <laughs> getting us use out of this very cheap brush as well compared to some artist brushes. It is about, I think it's about two pound fifty. Two pound fifty. So again, just blend, just tap, 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 tap. All the way along and then just tease it out. Tease, 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 very gently. Seem to I've lost that air, can't, can't get off the brush, man. There we go. Up, 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 there. Now, let's put another, let's put another layer of bills in. We've got to be careful because we've got some houses, I think, our church or something like that. Right, so I'm going to darken that off now again. So, same colour, white and blue, but I'm just going to take a little bit of phthalo blue into that as well. So we've got a little bit of a darker one. So the hill starts there. And it'll come across. All the way across. But you need that misty area like we've done before. 
We need that misty area again. Okay. Down there like that. And then we'll put some little little trees down here. I think there's some trees, I think. Some, something along those lines anyway. We don't know. There, like so. Dreamy, yeah? Dreamy. Set that down and back to the blendery one. Okay. And just tap the base of that one. Really get in there. Really tap. If it's too slow for you, which it shouldn't be when you're painting at home, but if it is too slow, use a bigger brush. That's all. But I like this soft, delicate little little ponytail brush. Pony hair. I think they make it out of pony hair. Oh, this might be a simulated version of that. There we go. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to change the flavour a little bit again. I'm going to just go straight in to some... Uh, so we've got a tree that's going to go about there. So here and there, and there and here. Just to break up a dead colour. I'm just going to tap in some just straight phthalo blue. Just there like that. There we go. Straight phthalo blue. Okay. Now, there was a tree, so I'm going to put the... Mm, just let's put the trunk of the tree in. So, brown. We'll just get some of that brown that we had. Okay, and where did it live? I think it lived about there. I'm not painting the tree yet, but I'm just putting the indication of where... I think it was a cypress tree. Now, I have painted this painting before um, on my coin collecting channel. I used to do paintings on the coin collecting channel and I had a little bit of a, a series going called The Master Paints The Masters. And this was the first one, or a version of this was the first one. And uh, I made it into an evergreen tree, but I think we may stick with the cypress tree. I don't know if we'll see, we'll see. And right, so I think there may be uh, a church or something like that. We may not go crazy with the, with the, with the, with the buildings. So what I'm gonna do, take around a brush, where is it? Okay, take around a brush, sweat off, okay, just beat it off. Oh, it's only a little one, this one, but it, it, it really works. I used this for many years, and I'm going to put some trees in here. Um, and maybe let's put a bit more white in though. I said at the start, it's going to be a little bit of trial and error. This, so I'm just going to put a bit of white just in here just to highlight. The next layer a little bit better a little bit better for for youtube just there like that okay you don't have to go mental don't have to go mad and then just tap 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 and then that layer of mist will separate separate this hill from the trees that we're going to put down next easy peasy Easy peasy. Okay, so yes, back to this one. Back to this one. Right, make sure it's dry. I'm going to get some sap green. And just hit that sap green there. And I think we had some trees, if a memory serves me right, about here. Just tap them in. We'll come back and we'll put a few highlights on some of these trees in due course, but there's some trees there. This is just sap green. Like that, I think they go all the way off the canvas. Well, they do now, they do now. Again, this is our version. This is our version, so we can do whatever we want on here. Okay, build that all the way across. Yeah, I think there was a church uh, with a big steep on, so we'll remain true to the painting. But we'll change it as we go along, as you probably have already guessed. Okay. Maybe bring that all the way across. There. Now I'm doubting myself. How many of those trees were in the middle? Was there two? One or two? See, I only looked at this painting on my phone about ten minutes before I start and started painting. Because I'm using the camera on the phone to paint so I can't revert back but I uh, 
I did a little bit of a rough sketch as well. Okay, ill prepared, but we're having good fun. So I've taken some white, some sap green, some Indian yellow. Okay, let's get it a bit thinner. So a little tiny touch of, of liquid white. Okay, and then down here. Now this should stick a little bit better. And, and I just wanna highlight one or two of these trees. That's down here. Again, they're quite far away, so we're not gonna see everything. Just highlight one or two where the highlights need to be. And if you get a highlight that's too strong, just keep tapping. Look at that, look at that. It just comes out at you, doesn't it? It just comes out. I'm gonna change the flavor in a minute. I'm gonna change the flavor of the paint. Uh, yeah, we'll put one there. There, 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 like so. So what to change the flavour, um, we'll add a tiny bit more Indian yellow perhaps. And maybe a touch of the Elysium Crimson. Oh, that is a nice colour. That is a nice golden colour. So just tap again. So I'm tapping, I'm not painting, I'm not ploughing the paint on, I'm just, just, just tap, tap, tap. So maybe we've got a couple of that colour that sneak in here, sneak in there, wherever we want them to be. Now this might be a good painting to do or something fun like this to do with different colours. I know Van Gogh painted it in a, a, a bluey colour. Maybe he was feeling blue that day. He had a lot of blue days, I think. Bless him. Yeah. Yeah, like so. And we'll put some on this side. I don't know. And we've got the tree there. I think was there one, two trees, maybe three. Let's work his way down there, like so. Change the flavour again if we need to. I'm gonna add a bit more crimson to that. Just give it a bit more of a pinky glow. Just to change the tree, basically. The foliage on the tree. Separate some of these. There, so we've got almost, almost a forest down there. Take the knife, okay, and I'm going to scrape through. Now you might not see this; you'll you'll probably see it at the end. But I'm, you know, when I put a finished picture up, but just going to scrape through and allow that black canvas just to show through here and there, just and it gives the indication of the tree trunks. Now don't paint the whole trunk. Don't scrape out the whole trunk. because you won't see the whole thing because it leaves in, in the way. Okay, so that's that. Um, scrape off, I think we've got some land down there and we'll have a church, I think. So let's paint that church. So I'm gonna grab, let's go into that crimson and let's get some blue. Crimson and blue. Okay, nice purpley color. And I think we'll have the church, where's the gap? We'll have the church there. So I'm gonna tap on and then just lift up and that's going to be the spire. Probably can't see that unless I zoom in. Might do that. Sometimes I'm a bit, I like to zoom in. Sometimes I'm a little bit, a little bit lazy. Don't do that. So that's where his church is going to be. Okay, so we'll put a side on there. Like so. And now we've got about three or four houses on there. So we'll get a brush for that. Uh, which one shall I use? I'm looking for a small one. I seem to have lost them all. We'll pick up this one. That's what happens when you get lots of brushes, you see. Sometimes you lose them. Okay. Like the marbles. I lose me marbles. I'm going to add a bit of white to that, that purpley colour I made. Just a bit of white. A bit more white. Okay, and I'm going to use the brush. This is a tiny little fan brush. I'm going to use it like a knife. So I'm just going to gently put on and just straight down. Straight down like that. Okay. And then 
we'll, that's the spire there like that we'll put a roof on it in a moment okay and i think there's another house we'll have another one there like that looking towards us we'll put maybe another one here we'll not go mad we'll not go mad with houses <laughs> there like so so just just gently put them in with the brush okay leave that to one side now let's get some crimson on the go so i'm just going to go straight into some crimson if i can find we'll use a knife crimson i'm just going to put a little roof on this so just that like that there a bit more of that purpley color a bit more crimson we'll put a roof on this one so we'll just have that there like so and then come down there like so like that and the house is there we'll put some windows in a minute i just want to rework this a little bit i don't i haven't finished the spire yet but uh i'm gonna get the main part in haven't we hold it up We'll put some grass around all this lot in a minute as well. Okay, again, a bit more crimson and that purpley colour. We'll put another roof on this one here. Just like that. There. Just a basic idea. A basic idea. Right, I'm going to take some paint thinner and some white and some blue and some purples, whatever we've got going. And I want to just delicately and gently paint this spire in just there like that there just take your time at that don't want it going wrong take your time at that there, maybe a bit in there as well change the flavor of the house Bit more crimson, I think. Really dazzle this one up. Yeah, like that. There. Right, we want to do the same thing, but with something white and yellow paint. So I'll get some paint thinner back into the white and yellow mix that we had for the moon. And I'm going to put a few little indications just there and there of some some lights that are gone one two three you might not be able to see these on on, on youtube but they're there they're there like that good stuff i'm going to go into black now just a bit of black and i'm just going to put a bit of shadow under there There we go, there. Right, I'm gonna take a fan brush and I'm gonna go into some sap green and some of this yellow. Let's get some yellow. Sap green and yellow. That's cad yellow. Makes a really vibrant looking green. And then just down here, I'm gonna tap in just some grassy areas. Now don't cover the black up. I'll cover every bit of the black up. Now you can go crazy and paint every single house. I don't know, I think there was a whole village, but I just want to give you a, a rough idea of, of how to do a few of them. Yeah, like so, maybe a bit more up there. See, because it's a different green, it really stands out, you see. And come down there. There. Tap that in, tap that in. Don't kill the dark. Don't kill the dark. We only want a tiniest amount of paint. Just tip, tap, tip, tap, tip, tap. There. there, like so. Right, now I think we need to work on this tree. All right, so again, sap green. And we'll start off with sap green. We've got a little bit of that cad yellow still left on the brush. 
we might need to thin it down somewhat but we'll, we'll see where we go i think there was another tree there mm, we'll put it there okay just there like that and there's a was the three i think there might have been an owl just there like that and then a big one there right so let's make these cypress trees so i'm just going to touch up push up sideways on and push sideways on and just push up like that and if it's not sticking the paint's not sticking, add a little tiny bit of paint thinner. We've got a fair few layers of paint on there. And we might need to just change that a little bit. Change it. Change the value, change the flavor, change. Change the brush if you need to. Whatever works for you, right? Whatever works for you. I'm gonna darken that off somewhat. I'm gonna add a tiny amount, just a tiny amount of paint thinner, just so it sticks up down there like so there that's it looking good looking good on to the next tree and again we'll put one up there just push up push up push up push push well i like some of these as well we'll come back in with some highlighted color down 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 maybe even add a touch of black <sighs> darken it off down there there'll be some deep shadows at the bottom of those trees that is for sure uh, like that started off with the black we'll work up we'll work up okay again there i hope there was three now <laughs> There, so there we've got basic, basic shape of a cypress trees or cypress trees. Right, so now we have that. I'm going to take a bit more of that brown, and we can really put the trunk in. So just put a little tiny bit of brown, just to act as a little trunk, just to keep all this lot up. There. Wipe the knife. Let's get the fan brush. Let's just knock off any excess paint and then go straight into some yellow. I'm going to hit the tiniest amount of liquid white as well, just to thin it down and brighten it up somewhat. A bit more. A bit more. A bit of blue. There, look at that. That's a good colour. That's a good colour. Right. So now let's put some highlights on these cypress trees so there, there so that's his light source yeah so we're just gonna come up there and just very gently we need a thin paint for this we've got several layers on now several layers of paint so you really need a thin one just to just to cover what we've already got up there but not too thin that we're gonna make mud and if you've Painted before, if you're an artist, you've made mud. We've all made mud. We all know what that feeling feels like. Down there, like so. Maybe a few on this one. Not as many on that one. That's behind the big one, so maybe not as many, but still want one or two. And so on this little one here as well. Da, 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 da. There, 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 there. Like that and that. Just toy with the fan brush. I know, I know it looks like we're going quick. But just, just toy with the fan brush. Make sure, make sure you make friends with your equipment, you see. I'm just going to add some of that. I like colour, but I'm just going to darken it off a little bit with a bit more of the blue and the green. And then we can put a couple of reflected light highlights just at this side. Not many, but just one or two. 
and then same on this one just a bit of a reflected light there there look at that there. I think that looks all right from where I'm stood it might look completely different to you guys okay tap up at the base clean the feet up and I think we're about done with a finished painting I think we have so let's get the signature brush wherever I've put it probably put it down there okay a bit of paint thinner and a bit of the bright red and I'm just gonna put a quick little squiggle on just there so let me know how we've got on my fantastic friends let me know if you've enjoyed this one. Let me know if you're going to give it a go. Does it look similar to Van Gogh's? Now, we don't want a massive copy of his work, but it just gives us a little something to do, doesn't it, on a black canvas. If you give it a go, tag me in a photograph. The links are down in the description to my social medias. And uh, yeah, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, leave me a nice big comment. And until next time, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Happy days.